In this video, we are going to see and resolve this error that says a and e dot system error. Our driver cannot load on this device. So if your Windows shows this message, here's what you can do. So what we need to do is just go to the start menu and just right here, file explorer. And once we have this open, just click on it. On our right, we see these three dots on the top. Just click on that and click on options. Here in the options, we will go to the view tab. And here we just need to enable this particular options in the hidden files and folders. We have the show hidden files, folders and drives. Click on it. And after that, just hit apply and click OK. Now, once we have done that, just go to this PC and uh, just access the drive. And you will find this E and E dot sys. What you have to do is just right click here, go to show more options and just click on rename. And what you want to do is just put our number with it. Let's say E and E one dot sys. And after that, just hit enter. It will ask for the administrator access to uh, allow you this change. So once we have done that, we just close all the windows and just restart your computer once. So hopefully that should resolve the problem. And what else we can do is we can just try turning off the memory integrity. If you still having a problem, we can later enable that once the problem is resolved. So uh, we go to the start menu and right here core isolation in the start menu and just click on that open this up and and once we have this open if it is on the memory integrity is on you need to turn this off and then every time you make a change here it recommends you to restart the pc so let me just quickly restart it this pc is restarting and once that is done and we have restarted the pc hopefully the problem should be resolved if it is just comment down below if that works for you and I will see you in the next one.